now um, converted a uh, standard closet for hanging coats into a wine cellar. So what I have done is basically remove the door that was like this with a standard jam, inserted a exterior door with a two inch door, you can kind of see how thick it is, with a knotty Adler, very unique sort of knotty kind of wood with a tempered glass. This is all designed to keep the, um, the cold air in. The closet has created, I've created a vapor barrier with insulation and then the next layer is um, old uh, wine crates that have been manually put up. You can see the air conditioning unit up there that's designed to keep this automatically at 60 degrees. The uh, side is actually cork that has been um, wine that we have stored over the years and um, it's cork on cork. So the way, the best way to explain it is this is a one by one foot square of, of thin cork and uh, you glue and you place these corks on top of it and this is what you get and um, it's about 17 years of wine drinking with friends and family that you see right there so that's the first layer and um, what's going to go into that wine cellar is this wine rack that holds 296 so basically 300 bottles of wine will be display areas up here and uh, this is double so you can put two bottles in each of these. Uh, this will go in last. Uh, this is just a quickie update. Um, the entire electrical system has been put in so now I've been able to finish the uh, putting in the um, the cork. Uh, the last time you saw it just you had one layer and uh, basically we have a two light track on the, on the top here shining down and uh, that will be not visible to anyone since the rack is going to be out but this is just the last time you'll see it before we put in the actual rack. Uh, one quick follow up, um, this is the back wall you can hear actually it's, it's chilling right now uh, the big deal here was this entire wall had to be removed um, first of all to just fit the AC unit in but then to create a condensate tube that drops in here because obviously trying to keep 50 to 70 percent there will be condensation so what I did is built a nice little frame using an old case of uh, wine from Chile called Zeus and basically what will happen is over time you just pull it out there's this little, the little tube that drops in and that water will be dropped into the toilet and that's where it drops so and then obviously I had to uh, drywall this thing and, and paint again so that's the uh, the back side of the wine club. November 7th, 2009, project done. It all started with a little drawing here that's, uh, that was drawn in about August when the folks were visiting and uh, it is now complete. Uh, there's a satin finish that's been put on this wood, uh, this, which is a knotty Adler, which is a very thick wood. And you can see the glass and the wine inside. So it has been operating appropriately. The air conditioning unit is actually designed for wine, so it does two things. It controls temperature as well as humidity. So this thing will be targeting 60 degrees, you can see up there, and the humidity will be between 50 and 70 percent. So very nice and quiet, and as you can see, the um, this is the finished product. Uh, close to 2,500 quarts were used uh, for the sides of the walls. About two-thirds of them were from my own collection of drinking with friends and family over the last couple of years. And I did have to get about a thousand corks from eBay because I uh, didn't think that uh, this was going to be necessary. But anyway, this is a standard coat closet which was nine feet by, is nine feet by three feet. And uh, it is now a wine cellar I know all of you will be enjoying the wine in here soon to come. Ciao, ciao.